Hi guys, welcome to my first ever let's play of Fallout Shelter. I have played this game once more before, but I would like to play it again with you guys. So, without further ado, I would like to start the game. So, I'm gonna create a new vault. Now we have to determine the idea of the vault. Just carefully, because once you select an idea, it can't be changed. Okay. Vault 2, Flash 7. Last time we actually wait. I think I'm gonna have one. One person. One person. One person. It does sound nice, but maybe we can have something else. Uh, you know what? One person is pretty cool. Okay, we have vaults. Right, congratulations, Voltec has selected you to be the overseer of Vault 147. The Vault keeps people safe from the dangers of the wasteland. As overseer, your job is to expand and maintain the Vault while keeping the dwellers safe and happy. Each room has a special attribute it uses, design dwellers with the best special to make them happy and produce extra resources. Vault Tech will give you a daily rating based on your performance. Remember to keep your dwellers happy and do a great job. <laughs> Alright then, please stand by. This is the pretty classic standby screen, and I do want to remove as the Fallout 3 look all over it. So, let's begin. Welcome to your new world, Overseer. Let's introduce you to the AC concepts. Okay. First, let's build a room. Tap on the helmet icon to create a new room. For the world pubs and then that will reduce power. Tap on the power of the room. Okay. So, where do we wanna put this? So, I was initially thinking that we should have put it like down below to the right. I think it might be nice. I mean, maybe the diner in here and the water putrefying putri thing in here. I think this is actually something that's nice. Or maybe the power of the generator in here. I mean, in the classical Fallout games, the power generators were usually up in the main level, I think, but, yeah, sure, I'm gonna put it right there. Now we need dwellers to make the power generator reduce power. Alright, look at the dwellers have shut them up, up the road door. Maybe crazy old... And um, you can see the dweller's special stats, this important as where a dweller can be used most effectively. Okay, it was perception, is it? No, strength, okay. Year 2, Bowman. Okay then, so what's next? I mean, it's pretty added to the game, you know. Now that dwellers are working, this room will start producing resources that will tap on a room to take a closer look. If you're not working with maximum efficiency, it's guaranteed. If you're in the dire need of extra resources, you can use the rush mode. Tap the rush button to open the rush menu. Let's rush it then. And then you know, Sets. Great, you successfully completed your first rush and complete gaps. Let's build a second room. Diner. We need a diner which will produce food. Tap on the diner. As I said, I think I'm gonna have the diner here. So, yeah. Here we go. And let's build one more room. Water treatment. In here, yeah. 
great love here's some fruits and water this is actually a vault look at the meters to keep track of your resources needs okay then look much water section up at the vault door and that you know the basic rules of the receiver role keep expanding your vault just remember to keep your dwellers alive and happy good luck Sammy Harper she has charisma, but I think she's gonna go. She's gonna be going to perception, water treatment, and awesome pain. Let's go to the diner for now. Some two dollars in the right stream. Strength. It's your let's say you can go there. And we have already completed new tasks. Okay. Complete objectives to earn caps. Objectives can be found by tapping the button icon in the for menu. So Kimberly Lester. And she has good perception as well. Alright. To the water treatment. You can send jewelers to explode by sand drag a jeweler aside the bridge and give them supplies to start their adventure. Agility, top button, nice. We have a cooking iron. I think awesome pain is going to the wasteland. Alright, dude. Make sure you keep your tours before sending out sending them out to explore the way. Explore the wasteland, this will increase their chance of survival. Well we have no gear or weapon or anything, so use them. And we will look at this one of our objectives. There we go. Nice. So what do we have on the GPS? Collect food, level up the dweller, successfully rush from the room. Alright. Sounds easy enough. Alright. Again. <laughs> you just earned that lunchbox. Tap to lunchbox. I can edit it one minute to open your lunch box or purchase additional lunch boxes. Okay. And we have a new jewel and Gloria Hardy. She has charisma and not a whole lot of else. I, mean, I think I'm gonna send her out to the wasteland as well. We just use the last available space for dwellers in the world. Build more living quarters to accommodate more dwellers. Okay. Let's uh, send her out to the wasteland as well because all of our spaces is filled and I think we need some gear as well. Need more dwellers for the world? Try sending dwellers to the living quarters and see if magic happens. Yeah, the old fashioned way. Okay then, wish me luck. Caps, nice. Water. Enhance the 10 millimeter pistol. Nice. Whoa. Oh yeah, pressurized flame. Okay then. I'm starting with. Beginning, you know, flamer. I mean, okay, we have a bit of an ice time. Merge rooms can hold more dwellers so they produce more resources. Um, I think I'm gonna send someone with the flamer. I mean, that's amazing. I mean, pressurized flame 15 to 19. Okay. Actors, perception. Tell me how. Maybe we should send her out. 